Hey guys, good morning. Sorry, my car is like, there's like a lot of sun. Um, I'm gonna park the other way, that way I don't have the sun in my face. So, happy Tuesday guys. I hope you guys are doing great today. Um, so yesterday we spoke about change and how sometimes change is going to require a lot of sacrifice and sacrifice sometimes hurt, right? So I want to talk to you today about, okay, finally you've made the choice, right? You have decided to change because, you know, you're tired of the way you're living, you're tired and, you know, people keep talking about this God that you don't really know, you haven't really experienced who God is, but you have decided to take a leap of faith and see how things work out, right? And so we all start at some point, you know, even myself, sometimes I doubt God, you know, it sounds very, very messed up, but sometimes I doubt God and you know, sometimes I forget, you know, th this is life, right? This is life that <clears throat> sometimes you are just going to drift away and you're going to like question like, what am I doing with my life? And then things go wrong. You feel this emptiness in your heart and you're like, oh, well, I need to be connected to my creator again, right? So when you start um, <clears throat> this new change, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know um who you're trusting all you have decided to take that leap of faith and see what happens right and so you know if you're that person today that you finally decided you know what i'm tired of just um how life is going i'm tired of feeling this emptiness i want to experience god and i want to know um who he is and i want to see what he can do for my life okay congratulations maybe you don't even know what the heck you're doing but you took the leap of faith and i want to congratulate you okay and so right now um, I want to let you know that, you know, the Bible says, take your cross and follow me, meaning that the journey isn't going to be easy, meaning that you are going to suffer. People are going to laugh at you. You're going to be different, you know, but at the beginning, it is going to seem like sacrifice and it's going to hurt and you're going to be tempted to say, you know what? I'm tired of people laughing at me. I'm tired of not being, you know, a part of everything else. And you might want to throw in the towel, right? You know, me growing up as a, as a Christian and as a pastor's daughter, I grew up and, you know, my convictions were different. I was just different than all the other kids. You know, we didn't celebrate Halloween. Um, I didn't agree to a lot of things and I still don't agree to a lot of things. And because of that, you know, a lot of kids would laugh at me. I would be bullied, you know, um, People wouldn't quite understand why I thought differently and sometimes it hurt me but today I want to let you in on a secret you know you've decided to make the change and maybe you're hurting maybe you have had to leave those old friendships because maybe they are a bad influence maybe they don't benefit you for your life maybe there's too much temptation and you know that you shouldn't be at that place right but it's hurting you because you have created these habits since you were young right maybe you've created these friendships from many many years back and you're going through a phase in your life that it's hurting and so you know believe it or not life gets easier the walk with christ gets easier and it gets more more joyful and i want to share with you today what the secret is and it's something so so simple that sometimes we don't quite understand you know sometimes whenever i feel like i'm doing a sacrifice and i'm like oh i'm a christian you know i can't do this and i can't do that it kind of seems like a book of rules it kind of seems like you know i have all these things that I have to follow and it's like a book of of rules you know and it can be whenever you look at the Christian life as a book of rules it can be very very overwhelming and it can be tough it can be really really hard and you know um, I grew up kind of being that way because my parents were, you know, they're pastors. And so I had a ton of rules in my life until I, you know, grew up and I made my choice because my dad told me, you know what, like, you know, the truth, you know, Jesus Christ. Now it's your choice to follow him or to depart. And so we have, you know, we're so blessed to have that, um, that, 
freedom, you know, to decide what we want to do with our lives, you know, but it all comes down to that you are going to be judged one day and you're going to be questioned like, what did you do with your life? What did you do with your talents? Um, who, who were you able to reach? Who were you able to talk to? Okay. And so I want to let you know that the, the Christian life isn't a book of rules. It's not a religion. You know, a religion is too hard to keep up with. Um, what it is to be a follower, a follower is to love Christ. And that's the secret. Whenever you fall in love with Christ, it's no longer a sacrifice. It could be a sacrifice when you first get started, or it can be a sacrifice, you know, when you're drifting away from God. But whenever you start to fall in love with God, it's no longer a sacrifice. And, you know, I've been able to experience, you know, moments in my life that I mess up, moments in my life, you know, that maybe I'm thinking things that I'm not supposed to, my heart isn't right. And I feel this guilt in my soul, like in my life. And I'm like, God, I, I let you down. And I feel so ashamed and I feel so embarrassed, you know, and, um, and, um, you know, whenever you just depart from God, you're that easy target. You're that easy target. And you have to remember that the enemy wants to distract you. The enemy wants you to drift away from Jesus Christ because he is life. He is everything. Okay. He is everything. You can't have joy outside of God. You can't have abundance outside of God. And so that's what the devil has come to do, you know. And so sometimes he's going to uh, play that role of guilt in your life, especially as a believer. And people are going to criticize you because people are always looking to criticize people. You know, they're always waiting for you to fall. They're always waiting for you to have something to say, you know. But when you fall in love with Jesus Christ, you love him and then you're able to love other people. Why? Because God is love. God himself is love. Okay. And so if you have that love inside of you for God, you're going to have that love inside of you for other people. And when you look at people, you're not going to look at people as a way to criticize or, oh, what is she doing wrong? Her eyebrows are not on fleek. You know, you're going to look at it more like, oh, I love that person. I want to build a relationship. I want to talk to her about Christ. And you know that love is going to pour out and people are going to feel it and people are going to want to experience the same thing. So, you know, if right now you're in a phase in your life that you're saying, this religion is too hard, there's too many rules, I want you to cast those rules out of your life right now and fall in love with Christ. Focus on falling in love with Christ. How do you fall in love with Christ? you get to know him, right? You don't randomly like meet this hot guy at a swimming pool and say, hey, do you want to marry me? And he's like, yeah, let's get married. And then all of a sudden you're married, right? No. What do you do? You build a relationship. You build a friendship. You go out with that person, right? Several, several times. You see how they are. You know, you see if they're romantic, if they um, value you. And then what do you do? You finally get married, right? So it's the same thing with Christ. Like you can't expect to fall in love with God or say you love God if you don't know who he is, right? And sometimes we think about God as, oh my God, like he's this scary person. He's going to send me to hell. Um, he's watching to see what I do wrong. He's not like that. Like he loves you no matter what you do, no matter how many mistakes you have made in your life. God loves you and he wants to take you in just like you are because you know the bible says that whenever you uh, accept christ as your savior he gets your sins and he throws them to the ocean the deepest ocean and forgets about everything that you've done you know but the point is is that you don't want to keep on living on sin right so you want to be connected to him you want to be connected to the holy spirit that way you're not constantly sinning right and so you know today i just wanted to remind you that um, it's not about, you know, that scary God. It's about that lovable God that wants you to fall in love with him. That way you're contaminated with so much love that you're going to pour it out onto the world. Okay. And so, you know, if you're in a phase right now that you're probably thinking, okay, well, you know, I have left my relationships. I'm tired of just, um, 
living the way I live and I feel this emptiness, but you feel like it's too hard or you feel like you're sacrificing too much, the, the recommendation I want to give you today is to read your Bible. Uh, you know, spend that um, alone time with him, a moment of tranquility, because, you know, you guys know that I am always about, you know, having that silent moment and that moment of tranquility because life is life and people never stop talking. Life never stops and you get busy and you hustle and you hustle and you hustle. And sometimes we don't allow the Holy Spirit to speak into our lives or sometimes not even speak, but just feel the presence of God, that whisper, okay? And so just get connected. And I guarantee that the more you're connected, the easier it's going to be and the more you're going to fall in love and it's no longer going to be a sacrifice, but it's going to be an act of love to God. Okay, guys, and so I love you guys so, so much. Um, yesterday we read Ephesians, what was it, 422? And I went back to that video and noticed that um, my phone was cutting off. So the Bible scripture didn't even come out on that live video, you know. But, you know, I just wanted to do a part number two, a continuation, and just, you know, uh, let you know if you haven't yet um, decided to change um, do that do that little act of faith I guarantee it's gonna be worth it um, you know if you feel happy now you know if you say okay well everything is going great with life if you say um, you know I have a good job I have a family I have a husband life is great well congratulations I'm so happy for you Honestly, I am so, so happy for you, but I can let you know that whenever you um, take Jesus Christ into your life, it's going to be even better and it's going to be um, joy, okay? Because happiness comes from circumstances like, oh, yay, I'm happy because I got, I got a good paycheck. I'm happy because I have a good family, but joy comes within. Joy comes from your soul. And nobody is able is able to give you that joy because it's found in Christ. Okay, guys? And so I love you guys so much. Have an amazing rest of your week. If you have any questions, make sure you put them on the description box below. Make sure you share the video. That way other people can be blessed as well. And I will talk to you guys at the next video. Bye, guys.